Hey y'all, I am back with another video just to give a little TTC update on my symptoms thus far. So in my last video, I told you guys that I had started taking Formera or Letrozole uh, cycle day three through seven. So I am now seven days past ovulation. And if you see me looking down, it is because I am reading my notes. But let's see. I have been experiencing very bad cramping um, in my right side. The pelvic area um, <clears throat> has been like, it's been hurting so bad, like dull pains, sharp pains, um, then just kind of like the how your cycle pains feel, like the regular cycle cramping. So it's kind of hard for me to know if it's my cycle that's about to start or if it is just the effects of the medicine. Um, so yeah, I've been dealing with bad cramping, definitely back pain. As you notice, I am sitting on the floor, but um, yeah, I just kind of want to change up where I'm filming. But back pain has been kind of like here and there um, but I have noticed that I have been having some back pains when, since I've been taking Electrozole. Also hot flashes y'all I feel like I'm going through menopause like right now like it's been so hot like I've had on the fan we've had on the air non-stop definitely having to sleep in a tank top just to make sure that I'm being able to get all the air that I can and y'all Nick is a cuddler. cuddler, I'm not. So he be getting in the bed, be ready to cuddle. And I'm just like, uh, it's hot, like, it's hot. I love you, baby, but it's hot. Like, give me some space. And then I actually want the cover off me too, so hot flash has been kicking my butt, y'all. Um, headaches have been terrible as well. I am a person that experiences migraines, but every here and there, but it has been really bad since I have been taking Electrozole, which lets me know that that is a symptom that I'm having due to the medicine as well. And yeah, that's all that I have written down here. Nothing else that I have really noticed besides the cramping off and on. Um, I am gonna insert um, a little picture of my glow app just to let you guys see how my uh, cycle has been and usually I am my cycles are 25 days long so on Friday May 10th will be cycle day 25 but my app says that I'm going to come on my cycle on the 14th so I don't know I'm about to insert a picture now and you guys tell me um, in the comments what you think so one second let me go ahead and do that all right guys so now that you've had a chance to look at my glow app and see how my cycle is um like I said in the last clip my cycle days range from 25 days i have been in between 24 and 25 days um so today is cycle day 22 so on friday will be cycle day 25 and normally my body's been like clockwork without any medicines um 20, 25 days so on friday i don't know if i should be expecting my cycle or not um so i really don't know how to do my pregnancy test because if my glow app is saying that I am going to start my cycle on cycle day 28, yes, if I'm supposed to start my cycle day on the 14th, that would be, cycle. my cycle will be 28 days this month, which that means that the Letrozole has extended my cycle. I don't know if that's how that works. Um, but I think that when I had when I was doing those other rounds of Letrozole, it did extend my cycle a little bit. But I don't know how I feel about this because I've been on a 25-day cycle and it's been consistent. So this really knocks me off. But I don't I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments what you think about that. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now with these crampings, um, with cramping, with hot flashes, headaches. All that is really just giving me the blues, but I am hopeful. Me and Nick haven't really talked about what to expect this cycle. Um, 
So I'm kind of just going with the flow. I think that if I don't come on my cycle on Friday, then we will probably take a test maybe Sunday. I don't know. What y'all think? I don't know. I'm just really so confused with my body this cycle, but I do know that I am really hating the swelling in my abnormal um, area, like abdominal, excuse me, my abdominal area, like it's swollen, like, I don't know, the things that we do to get a baby. So yeah, guys, that is my TTC update. Hopefully, I will be um, taking a pregnancy test soon if my cycle doesn't come on on Friday so you guys put me in your prayers and hopefully this is our month I already know this is our year I am believing that in the name of Jesus and it's your year as well guys stay encouraged stay encouraged um, just stay encouraged like it's going to happen it's going to happen and I'm just now recently coming into just understanding and knowing that my time isn't God's time. So as long as I keep trying each month, then I know that God's going to deliver and he's going to make it our time. And we will be carrying our little Smith baby before I know it. And the same for you guys. So definitely stay tuned. Um, if I don't come on my cycle on Friday, then I will definitely add um, the pregnancy test clip to this as well. Um, but yes, guys, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And again, stay encouraged. I love you guys so much. If you have any questions, any comments, definitely comment below if you are new to my channel welcome and make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also that little bell so you'll know when I'm posting a video I'm trying to stay consistent with you guys like really trying my hardest this week has been a rough week but I'm back on track and thank you guys for subscribing and again thank you guys for watching Mwah.